Welcome back to Family Camper Van Adventures. We're off on our big trip to Wales. Um, we stopped at Crickley Hill. Um, it's like a car park, but it's a lovely view. Looks like there's a few walks around here. It's just two, two pound for the day, but we're going to be here for a couple of hours of some lunch. Um, then we're going off to Shropshire uh, for two nights before we head into Wales. We're going to Snowdonia to um, the Brecon Beacons and a few other places so join us for the rest of this trip Come on. <laughs> Beautiful boy. <laughs> found a nice little spot on the edge of the hill so we can have some have some lunch uh, Always see a trench down there. If you lot can see it, um, but yeah, some Cornish pasties and bits for lunch. Terry Dunkers. Ah, uh, lovely spot here in the Cotswolds. We've got another about two-hour drive. It's our longest drive between sites. Um, but. Are we all set up? Just put them out on the table outside. Yeah. Please. What are we doing? Don't know. Camping? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. My turn. What's the name of the campsite? Don't know. Small batch? Yes. Small batch campsite. By the Long Min. Huh? Yeah. Tr Come little on. Stretton, isn't it? It's little Stretton. Shropshire. <laughs> Lovely little site. 
I'm here. It's, a, it's up there, it's the long mend. Or the path up to it. The toilet's down there. It's uh, about quarter to four. So we've had about four hours travelling plus two hour break or thereabouts, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, is it having a whinge? <laughs> Just waiting on a cup of tea now, aren't I, Nick? <laughs> yeah. Kettle's on. We, there is electric here, but we haven't got it. Um, yeah, is it £36 for two nights, the end of half term? It's not too bad. Not here. Well, we're going for a little walk, aren't we? A little evening walk. The long mend up there. Oh, I think the whole thing is like the long mend, the whole area. Campsite's back just down there. Evening's warmed up, even though it's not really got cold. But it's come overcast a bit. I think we had a couple of spots of rain. Uh, river running along here. Lovely sight. It's not the most modern facility block, but looks clean enough. They're mole hills, Isaac. They're mole hills. You know moles? They make all this. There's a mole living under here. Yeah. You can do. But you might fall down through the hole. Underneath the tunnel. We've made it to the boundary. This is the long wind sign for the National Trust. I think this is private property with a footpath through it. There's a funny little house there. I don't know if you drive to it. It's only a little path there. So... But I think we're going to head back now this evening. It's been a long enough walk, hasn't it? Yeah. So we head back to that little stream we crossed. Mm -hmm. Go on then. And you've got, well, have you hurt your finger, Edward? Yeah, stinging it all, I think. Uh, out of sight, it's a campsite around the corner. Don't fall in the stream. There's a little stream running down the hill here. A few lambs in this field, but we've only seen like one mummy sheep, so I don't know if it's like a, a um, like a surrogate mum. Six o'clock in the morning. And the boys are wide awake after having a pain going to sleep last night. Probably because we had a four hour drive and especially Edward slept most of that. The sun can be puddled of water, still puddling again now. Emptied a load off of that. But yeah, it's a bit wet night. It's supposed to dry up a little bit, hopefully. Um, but it's quite warm out still. So I'm going to get the bacon on the go, I think. And the kettle on. Is this purple? Which one? The top, number one. Is that purple? Is it begin with a pa. Purple. Yeah. yeah. I purple. We're going to need to pack up now because we're going to go out in the rain that I think is starting to dry up a little bit. It's a bit hazy out there. But we're going to go for a walk. It's meant to dry up a little bit and then maybe get wetter again later. But then I think tomorrow is going to be dry. 
but we'll see. It doesn't matter. We get out anyway. Just Edward, we had a shower this morning, didn't we, Edward? Did you like it? No. No, you didn't, did you at all? I thought I someone was going to break in and rescue you because you were screaming so much. What? <laughs> yeah, I thought someone was going to break in the shower and rescue Edward because he was screaming so much this morning. Are you going to scream tomorrow in the shower? No. No, because you're a brave boy, big boy. Yeah. Edward came back and he said, I like showers, mummy, didn't you? Yeah, she said, I love showers. I love showers, mummy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think um, not all these people want to be going today. Shares with children because it's half term, the end of half term. See, our boys aren't at school at the minute. Next year it'll be different. But, uh, yeah. So it was a bit busier yesterday. A lot of the people were packed up and left, like, must have paid for the stay on later or something. <laughs> and packed up last night and went home. And you can do this, can't you, Isaac? Show Mummy how to do it. Be careful, it might be slippery, and don't land in the paddle on the other side. Because you'll get wet. Nine o'clock in the morning and we're out for a walk. Straight from the campsite here in this beautiful little valley. It's all level so far. Don't know how high we're gonna make it today. <laughs> we haven't brought any lunch, we just bought snacks, so we're not planning around for a long day out. The further we go up, the narrower the valley gets. Boys are loving it. It's a magical little path. And they're throwing stones all the time. And looking out for slugs, there's loads of slugs. And sheep food. Nicole says across, did you feel me? Yeah. Let's go. Just get your feet wet because it's slippery those stones. So. I've got my This could be funny. <laughs> it's not that cold. Careful it's slippery there.
<laughs> Made it. Let's just say this isn't really this when you get so far up it's not very child friendly but we're giving it a go anyway. And now it's gonna go up hill I think. But we're having fun, are we having fun Edward? It's on my shoulders now. I was sensible, I brought my walking boots. Nicole said, oh, I don't need my walking boots. Got my trainers. Oh, okay, whatever. We made it up these steps. See how far we're going to go. The sun's out now. Have some warm coats off, though the boys are still on. Didn't want to take them off. If we're gonna make it. Guys, oh, it's doing really well. Head puts on my shoulders. So it's your walk again now. You wanna walk again now, Isaac, Edward? No. Well it's flat. It's still going. Some runners coming up there. Rather than me. Now it's about 20 past 10. I think we're calling it a day and heading back. Isaac's been walked all the way. Now, best to start heading back or else he's going to get tired and we're not going to get back. So we have a stop here, have some things to eat, and then we're going to walk back along this lovely path, lovely scenery. I haven't got up to one of the high hills, but we might drive over. Long min tomorrow. We we'll see. What the weather's doing, see what the time's doing when we're packed up. In a minute, I'll get you soon in a minute. That's the path up the hill. Up there. You know, we're up a ways up, but we weren't fast. Boys have enjoyed themselves. It's a magical, magical valley, and we're heading back. <laughs> you, you having fun up on my back there, Edward? My shoulders? Yeah. Yeah. You get the best view in the house, don't you? With your tongue out. Back at the river crossing. <laughs> yeah, that's a slippery one. <laughs> See the house. Let's see the house, can't we? Down the end, so we're nearly back. Not far. Morning's walk. Back for lunchtime. And a leisurely afternoon. 
bit exploring to Little Stretton this afternoon. Yeah. We've got that, we've had our lunch, haven't we? Have you eat all your lunch? That's it. Did you eat all your lunch? Yeah, you're doing your colouring. Doing your colouring. Uh -huh. <laughs> careful, is it? Be careful, don't be. Yeah, a lot of people have gone home now. Still a few people here, but a lot of the families have gone. Um, <laughs> and a new person's turned up opposite where another camper went. Okay, see it now. Oh, he's there, stop it. Yes, uh, people all next to us there have all gone. Or about to go. These two vans are about to go. And I'm going to go and use the washing up facilities. I want Daddy's phone. I've got my phone. I can't have my phone because I'm filming you with my phone. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm going to go and wash up. Walking to the village, little Stretton. Oh, big car coming up here. Oh. This is stinging nettles. It's a little lane. <laughs> it might be a car, car coming. Yeah, so. The Hamman's house. So we're in a nice little village, little Stratton. Not much here, apart from a couple of pubs, I think. Just walked past the Raglef Inn. I think there's a another pub further on down there that we passed yesterday. Edward, stay with Daddy. And yeah, I don't think there's much else here. I'll have a little wander down here, and then I think we're going to go back to the Raglef Inn and get a drink. Yeah. One in the Raglan Inn, the garden for a drink. Boys, Raglif, is it? Oh, we're Raglif here. You're on the slide, down you go. No, just go down it, Isaac. That's not very nice, Edward, Isaac. I got by another Yay! Ow! I hurt my butt. comes on the little boy. Mm. Crisps and beer and peanuts. Well, that was a nice couple of hours in the pub, wasn't it, Edward? Yeah. Yeah? What did you play on? Oh, uh, no swing, and then other slides. Yeah. You have fun? On the scary. What, what was scary? On the scary on the slide. Was it scary on the slide? Yeah. Yeah. Well, just a couple of minutes around the corner from the campsite, the Raglifin. 
The food looked good, although we didn't eat it. Just had uh, crisps, crisps and peanuts, and some beers and fruit shoots. Watch out, cars coming. So, go back to the campsite now for a lazy afternoon. We're back at the campsite. Feet up. Might put the kettle on. Had a couple of beers. My best to get off of them for a little bit until dinner, at least. Is that what you're doing? Doing nice drawings? Mm hmm. Yeah? Colouring by numbers. Doing really well with that, aren't you? Yeah. Normally you just colour everything the same colour, don't you? What? Normally you like to colour everything the same colour. But I'm not now. No, no, because you colour by numbers. It's really good, isn't it? Uh, and I'm colouring the different colour without numbers as well. Yeah. Yeah, and you're learning, you're learning your letters and your words. Yes. Yeah. There's a few, quite a lot of um, elderly people turned up, shall we say, isn't there? Um, I think it was the end of half term. They vote, like, right, end of half term, we're going, we're children are back in school. <laughs> and then they find us, don't they? We have our two noisy boys. Edward's throwing stones in the river. Where are you? Oh no, he's not. He's playing with cars now. Who beat their horn? Daddy? Yeah. Number five for a b, and a and a o, and a w, and a n. What do you think that number word is? Brown? Yes. Yay! I think we'll have a barbecue in a minute, won't we? Wait a bit. We're gonna beef burgers. You want beef burgers? Yeah. Beef burgers are on. Cup of tea, mum. Can play mug. It's finest beef burgers. Nothing to do with the fact they're on a special club card price. Drink a cup of tea, mummy. Good morning. After an eventful evening last night, uh, quite a normal occurrence. Edward fell asleep early at dinner time and then um, woke up just as we were finishing. Uh, unconsolable and then um, nosy neighbours stick their nose in when it's not wanted and one of them even <coughs> accused as of not loving our child. So fortunately, well, fortunately for them, I was I was loving my child, settling the text of Ed. Because if it was me down there, she would have had two bells from me. But um, Nicole had it and got upset after that. And she's right down to the end of our, our stay here at a uh, small batch campsite. Lovely campsite, lovely place, but Unfortunately, it's the people, a couple of people here. I think um, she's probably worried that we're going to be here for the rest of the half term. I think, but uh, rest, rest of this week because I think they've had a, a week with their family, and I think they wanted a, a week without children. But there you go. So um, yeah, we're gonna have some breakfast. What are we have in Edward? Croissants. <laughs> <laughs> you like croissants? Yeah. Is that one of the things you do like? Yeah. Mm. You can be a difficult boy, but we love them too. We love them too. We love them the world and back, you know. But, you know. 
someone's never heard a child cry like him, they're lucky. So we're going to have some breakfast, get the kettle on. Off. I've emptied the loo as the lights come on. <laughs> and um, me and, and we're all going to have showers, well, apart from Edward, because again, that's another screamy thing. <laughs> but we did him yesterday. So it's just me and Isaac and Mummy need showers before we uh, before we move on to our next site, which is uh, Tanaldrock. Oh, this is Wales, and I do not speak pronounce Welsh, so I'm probably going to pronounce things completely wrong for everywhere we go. So I'll have probably put subtitles in, <laughs> so you can make up your own pronunciation. Correct me if you if you want to, but I don't think I'd even get it right then. <laughs> Okay, so see you later on. So, Nicole's gone for a shower, and the boys are in my capable hands. Isaac's going to go for a shower with me in a minute when mummy, come, when mummy comes back. Um, Edward, I've got to finish you getting ready. You got to brush your teeth, boys, before we, before mummy comes back. Oh, big yawn. I want to see you. You want to see? Daddy. Can see you in a minute. Daddy. Yes. Mama's got a rug. Which is red? Yes, correct. So I need red. It's a lovely morning here. It rained quite a bit last night. I had to adjust the uh, sun canopy so the water ran off because it was pooling in it. So that seemed to have worked all right. Um, just need to get things a bit dried out, get packed up. Um, the river was. I ended up sleeping upstairs last night. Edward bumped his head. Well, the river's raised up a bit, I think. The level. Surprised with that rain. And I'm gonna to have to help Edward. We packing up. Had a good time in here, Edward, Isaac. What? Had good fun here. Yeah. yeah, what did we do yesterday? Did we walk up the river? What? Did we walk up the magical river valley? Yeah. yeah. Oh, but that, I wanna see you. <laughs> you can see you in a minute. Look at Daddy. Yeah, got the boxes. Just drying out the uh, uh, ground sheet. Um, a few bits to finish drying, so leisurely pack up, and then we'll be moving on. Pick up a few supplies on the way. You wait now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's uh, coming up to about nine o'clock now. Oh no, half nine. Half nine it is. So, should hopefully be gone. Ten, half ten. I'm sure the river's a bit higher since the rain last night. Right, last few bits to pack up. Pop top to come down. Had a bit of trouble with the Oh, no, I think it needs adjusting because it wasn't pulling right in, so I'll just put a strap around it for now rather than muck around too much of it. A bit of rubbish to go in the bin, wheel trucks to go in. And I'll just have a wee boys and Nicole are off for a walk, uh, come back, and uh, we'll be off. Well, all packed up, so it's goodbye to a small batch campsite. Off to Wales now. So uh, we will uh, catch up with you in Wales on probably part two. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, please uh, tick the thumbs up, like video, uh, like button if you've enjoyed watching the video. If uh, you want to keep up to date with our, the rest of this, uh, tra our travels in Wales, um, click to subscribe and get notified when the next video comes out. So thanks for watching and uh, yeah, see you in Wales.